Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to today's live stream. Yes, we're streaming out here. You're with me, I'm Brian K, and today we're going to talk about raising up the action on Woody. Okay, now Woody is my 62 reissue parts caster, basically. Okay, I have a 62 reissue neck on Woody. Okay, and uh, an ash body, and the rest is all parts caster stuff. I have had this guitar for quite some time. This was actually my main Stratocaster for about 14 years before I got the other Strat that, if you've seen any of my videos, well, you're probably familiar with seeing this, this guitar right here. And this is my HSH Stratocaster. This is Dakini, who's been in many of my videos. Dakini's awesome. But, um, but this is Woody, and Woody was around before Dakini entered the picture. And, well, long story short, Woody is now my electric slide get fiddle, and I have Woody in a tuning, which is in a G tuning, okay? So we are here in G tuning, okay? And I'll show you what that tuning is also. And I'm going to also give you guys a little slide lesson, too, about to get you started playing slide guitar, okay? If you're, it's a new thing to you or just want to know a little bit about a new slide tuning, which is not actually the most common one that you'll find. This one is a little different than a lot of the other ones. Okay, anyway. Woody's had some fret leveling and Woody's frets are mighty low, okay? Which is why Woody is now the slide guitar, okay? But if you can get a good look at this, you can see the, there's not much fret left on Woody. Okay, and Woody's playable and everything, you know. But, not a lot of fret left, so I say, well, you know what? I want to have a, a dedicated electric slide fiddle, so Woody's it. Now, we're going to raise the action up on Woody. Right now, we have Woody at about 530 seconds, okay, which is approximately two millimeters, okay? And you can... You can do slide shenanigans with the action this low. But some of the things that you'd like to be able to do with a slide, like go from a major chord to minor, this is tuned to G major, but like say you wanted to go from a major to a minor chord, right? Which requires a little frag behind the slide here on that one string, right? But that makes it a minor chord now. A little bit rough to do some of those things with the action where it's at right now and also uh, just in general the feel it, it, it could it could be a little more slide nacious so first things is let me tell you what the tuning is so if you have a pencil you can write this down because I'm going to show you some things of, that you could play in this tuning once we get this action raised up a little bit okay from high to low okay we have D we have a high D string, all right, then we have B, that just stays the same, right, G, leave that alone too, and then a, another D string here, right, those are, and I'm in 440 here, like standard tuning, uh, not a flat down or anything, like Stevie Ray used to do with the E flat thing, no, this is all like concert pitch, okay, D, G, B, these are all the same, but the high E goes down to a D, so it's a high D string, and then you're going to want to tune your A string here up a whole step to, to B. Okay, because that's another B right here. This is B string, and then you have a low D. So high D, B, G, D, B, low D. Okay, and we have a G major chord with this tuning. But like I said, well, you know, the action's a little bit low, so... A lot of guys are afraid to do this, and I wanted to show you that it's really not that hard to do this, and yes, you can do this too. It won't wreck your guitar or anything if you're careful, okay? But you'll want to use the proper tools, and on any Strat 
style bridge like this, where you have your bent steel saddles in this case, or if you might have the block saddles, but they all, basically you have an Allen key, okay? And this little bad boy goes into the height adjustment slots here, okay? Now everything else with this guitar is in really good setup. I set my own guitars up so the neck relief is good, the nut action's good, everything's awesome. But we need to raise this up a little bit down here at the bridge just to give us a little more clearance for slidenaceous goodness, okay? So all that really requires is that you simply put your Allen key into your into your saddle and turn it clockwise to raise it up. So we're going to go a little bit here to, well, I want to get at least one more 30 second, okay? I'm not going to go super, super high, but we're going to bring it up from five 30 seconds, which is approximately two millimeters to like, say, maybe about 2.5 millimeters or six 30 seconds, right? So that's really only going to be about eh, maybe a half to three quarters of a turn on these saddles. And then, of course, by doing this, I'm raising the, uh, the string pitch up a little bit because I'm raising the saddle height. But we'll just retune, and of course, a tuner is helpful. And I have a tuner on the amp that I'm going through. So I'll be able to very quickly tune it up real fast. But right now, I already know that, well, about three quarters of a turn on each one of these little, little screws in here is going to put me in the territory that I want to be so that it'll be a lot easier for me to do things on this guitar with it in a tuning like this for slide. So, like I said, there's nothing to be worried about doing this. You just need to be careful and use some common sense and always use the tools that came with your guitar so that you use the right size Allen key and everything. You don't want to strip, strip out a little screw in there because that's then you need to replace the, the screw or the saddle and we don't want to go there if we can help it so that's not the idea now these parts on this guitar are very old and I'm always very careful when I set this guitar up because of that a little story about this guitar I found it a good friend of mine back in the day had this guitar laying around and it was in need of repair and it was uh, someone sanded off the original finish and everything so I put a hand rub finish on here and do I put some new pickups in it because there were some cheesy pickups in there that were okay but nothing special but I got some nice period correct 62 early 62 late 50s early 60s type single coils in here and just set this guitar up real good. The neck is a 62 reissue neck from the mid 80s, so it's a Corona era neck. It's pretty cool. Very nice, real thin, good guitar. And it sounds great. It's your quintessential Stratocaster. So, one of these is helpful too, and you need to check your action. You want to see where you are. These little uh, engineer's rulers are really good because they have millimeters and 30 seconds and things on them. And I always do that right here at the 17th fret. And some guys will put a capo down here to check the action, but I put the nut in myself and I followed these nut slots. So I know that everything's how I want it down there. So I don't do that. I just go off the open, right off the saddle. And I go up here to the 17th fret with my engineer's ruler and I just look at the 30 seconds. And I can very easily see where the height is. So I checked that real quick at the 17th. And, okay. Looking pretty good. Yep. I think we're, we're, we're there. Okay. Maybe a little more on the height. Yeah. No. Yeah. Looking good on all strings. Well, the D string can come up just a little bit. Let's just do that real quick. Okay. So, you know, don't be afraid to make these adjustments, man. 
It's all good if you uh, you really want to get to know your guitar. It's good to learn how to do your own setups, or if you're very uncomfortable and you get nervous about that kind of thing, then you do want to bring it to somebody and let them do the guitar for you. But if you're somewhat mechanically inclined and this doesn't freak you out to mess with the bridge or anything like this because remember everything you can do can always be put back again which is a good idea to just write down your measurements so I have a pad over here I write everything down before I start setting up a guitar I write stuff down so I know where everything's at okay and that way I could always go back there if I had to you know it's easy enough you just go the other direction with the saddles and you're back down to the lower action that you had before you raised it up right but this is looking awesome now, okay? We're right where we want to be to have a better slide experience on this guitar. So, we'll tune it up real quick and make sure that everything is not too sharp or right on because it's all sharp now. As you can hear, it doesn't sound too good, right? So, I'm just using the tuner over here. And I gotta lower these back down, remember? So high D. Okay, let's get that tuned up to the D. And I have the B string, which is normal like it was if it was in standard tuning. That we don't change, it stays at B. And then the G string stays the same too, you know, because we are in G. We're tuned to a G chord, G major chord. Okay? bring that D string back to pitch and that also stays the same. The three metal strings don't get changed in this tuning. It's just the high E, the A string, and the low E that we that we switch. So this A string, remember that is tuned to a B. So we have two B notes in the chord, right? Two major thirds there. And then a low D, so we have like three fifths in the chord, three fives, one root, and two thirds. Getting there, okay, fine tweaks. Okay, we have achieved what we're looking for, which is a nice crispy G chord. Okay. Okay, and we're ready for slide shenanigans, right? been learning this slide tuning for a couple weeks now okay I discovered this tuning and basically this is uh, Jimmy Page used this tuning quite often with Zeppelin and one of the things that I'm going to show you right now since we're in the quintessential Jimmy Page slide tuning which used to always tune his Dano and stuff to this G chord tuning well hey check it out My time of dying okay that old I guess it was a hymn that they rocked out on on physical graffiti when they covered that song well check it out this is how you play it first you have to be in this tuning and then we're looking at mostly right for the main lick here are the three middle strings pretty much okay open third fret up to the fifth fret right so it's basically a G a B flat well no yeah B flat and a C so okay so 
G, B flat, C, right? Back down to the B flat. Slow slide off to the open string. There's this cool thing that Jimmy does where he goes to the four chord, right? And he just kind of has like this really neat sound. It's actually, he goes to like a, a four with a 13 in it, kind of. But he does one of these, which is basically, look, check it out. Open strings, you put your first finger at the first fret of this B string, and you put your second finger here at the second fret of the D string and you mute the low E, or the low D in this case, and the, and the B string, which used to be an A string, right? You mute those out, and I use the top of the second finger and my thumb, right? You just want to hear the top part. Right? Interspurses those in between Robert Plant's vocal weirdness. Okay, but anyway, then it goes to like the B section of the song, right? So check it out. What's happening with that? Well, he's basically going to a C chord and he's using his first finger. He's playing a bar, okay? And he takes his pinky, right? Or you take your pinky in this case, and you go up here to the eighth fret on, in this case, a high D string and a B string, right? So you have a bar on the D and the G string back there. You don't want to hear anything on the bottom. You, you can just bar all of them, but I just mute those strings out. But And this pinky goes from the eighth fret down to the seventh while you're barring that high D and the B string, right? Right? And then you come down here and you do that, right? So third fret, second fret open, fifth fret, third fret open, and then twelfth fret with a piece of polished pipe. I use a brass slide. He moves this down a whole step, right? And just repeat, like rinse and repeat, just go two frets down. Bar at the third fret, pinky at the sixth fret on the high D and B string. And just move that down to the fifth fret. And that's what's happening with that song in a nutshell, okay? Of course, have fun with it. Now, what else can you do in this tuning that, well, let me see, what else could I show you? Oh, I discovered that. Let me get my switch tip, which I knocked off here in total excitement of slide shenanigan. Okay, so here we go. Let's put the switch tip back on there. All right, now, one of the other... Uh, Things I realized is that if you dig Rory Gallagher, which I think Rory was was fantastic and awesome, um, who's that coming, right? 
If you remember Rory Gallagher, that's one of his slide tunes was Who's That Coming, right? Right, right there. There's the intro, and I'll show you the rhythm too, but check it out. What's he doing? 12th fret of the B string up to the 15th, and then you go to the high D string at the 15th fret. It's no longer a high E, it's a high D now. You can hit them both with some upstroke action on those two strings. And go down two frets to the 13th to the 12th. Third fret. Fifth fret, up to the twelfth, right? And again, that is basically focusing on the three middle strings right there, the D string, the G string, and the B string. And I'm using my pick. Now, a lot of guys will get better muting by just using their fingers. But I do it the old school way. I use my fingers and my pick. Kind of similar, right, to, to Zeppelin. Just a little bit different way of playing the progression. Let's see, one more slide song. Okay, Rolling and Tumbling. Cream covered this one, right? What the heck is happening there? Okay, same stuff again, it's just a different way of playing it, but that's basically the first part, you know, where Jack Bruce was going off, rolling and tumbling, and again, they're covering an all blues song, and don't ask me to sing. We'll leave that to the guys that could do it. But this is the guitar part, so. Third fret, fifth, third, right? A little forward action on the third fret move. Kind of come up from under and just kind of come up into it. Slide up into the fifth and then just slide right down to the third and then open. And again, this is all focusing on the middle strings for the most part with this rhythm also. to the seventh for the five four change basically right B string third fret up 
to the high E at the fifth or the high D and then kind of go between them a few times. Into that chord down here, right? Into the B flat to G. Okay, so yes, if you've been thinking about getting the guitar into some slide naciousness, okay, get the action up a little bit, okay, grab yourself a piece of polished pipe, tune it up to this G chord tuning right here, which is basically a country tuning, that's what I've heard it referred to as a country tuning, and there's a few songs that can get you rocking out on your slide, with a little bit higher action on a guitar, maybe like Woody here that has some low frets that kind of is in need of a refret, but you know, I don't know if I'm gonna refret this guitar. So I may just leave it as the dedicated slide electric. That's in G, right? Because there's other tunings too. There's E, I've been messing around with that one too. I've been teaching myself slide guitar, okay? And I just got hip to this tuning a couple of weeks back, and I've been having a good time with it. So I wanted to come out here and show all of you guys that you could do this, okay? If you've been thinking about it, you could do it, okay? And if you want to do it, you can do it. And there's no reason why you can't raise up the action on your guitar and have it more slide-friendly, okay? And, uh, okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed meeting Woody. Okay, and Woody's new role as the electric slide fiddle in uh, around here with me. And, uh, okay, we'll catch you next time. Remember, if you dig my videos, right, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And, of course, tick that notification icon to be on your way to playing better guitar. Peace.